everybody, it's Dana from Belly Dance by Dana. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are at Hippie Fest. We're dancing in the rain. Uh, we're at Dawsonville, Georgia. We're having a blast. Uh, great crowd. And the beautiful Jezebel is willing to give me an interview. All right. So, how'd you got? <laughs> all right. So, Jezebel, the first question that I have for you is, how did you start in the art of belly dance? What made you start? It was something I was always very interested in. The music, the costuming, the history, all the great props. And there's other forms of dance that are wonderful, but they just didn't have the same energy and the same female power that belly dance has and it has a very very rich history we can't there's a lot we don't know but going back to a lot of the cultures of the Middle East and I more Turkish than anything else so I really love the Turkish style dance and there's just an energy and a power to that and it originated from the Roma people and they are awesome dancers and there is just so much a way of the interaction with the music and the dance and the drumming and the people and if you get to see any of the videos from Hippie Fest we had drummers we were yes. out there <laughs> improving and we had people dancing with us and it was just alive and dynamic even though we were in the rain and yes. looked like drowned rats who cares yeah but like it was such a good energy right yes, like, it, yes. it was and like you can't explain that until you feel it so yeah yes. so how um would you like to um, continue for the next year now that COVID has lifted? COVID has lifted now. We are, I'm hoping to do the next Hippie Fest. We are looking to get into, I'm from Augusta, Georgia, and looking to get back into some of our dance events. We dance at the Augusta Market. Dana comes down for that. Some arts festivals and other events that we're just trying to see what else we can get on the calendar. The other thing that Dana and I have both been doing are some online hoplas and it's a different experience. That is one thing I have gotten a lot better at recording and editing my dance videos. Yes, yes, and like the, figuring out how to like move the camera and the lighting and all of that. Camera know? lighting and sometimes different filters and things and being able to do like a close-up of something and then wider angles and like that. if I have a hand movement I want someone to see it, then I ask my camera, get my hand doing this, or get my hip doing this, or whatever, and they can zoom in on that, and that's the one thing sometimes with a full body shot, or even some of the shows here, we have some really subtle moves that people may not see, and then being able to edit and really make a smooth edit, but it doesn't have the live energy. Yes, it doesn't, yeah. And it, it took me a long, the first time I did a recorded a dance, it just felt stiff because there were no people. There was yeah. no audience. You're, yeah. not, you're not getting the energy back. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I just, you know, I've ha I have choreography, but when you're live, you just forget that and you interact and it's there and you bring people in. And it's this whole synergy. And there's several names for it in some of the different cultures. The idea of Tarab, where you just really, you and the musicians and the audience just get lost in the music. Yes, it's a different yes. state. That is amazing. I love that. And it's there like is a spiritual connection. It can be, for me, it's goddess. For some people, it's Allah or God or Jesus or nature or whatever. But there is a connection with something that's deeper than yourself. Yes. When yes. you access that. And with community and with just the, the number of people and the diverse people we had even today. Yes, yes, absolutely. That is such a great answer. <laughs> So what's my prize? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely get a prize. All right. Um, so also, how do you feel that it has added, like belly dance has added to your life? What has it like improved your life? Or how well, it it's kept life? me in shape. Yeah, it does. Because really I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not going to work out. I'm not going to like go to a gym and do weights and cardio and boring stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's kept me really fit. Yeah. It's provided a physical challenge in a way that I like. Because mm -hmm. I like being able to... Can I stretch and do this back then? Or can my body learn to do this oozy gooey thing? Yes. Following the music, again, the, the kind of spiritual mention that I just talked about has really tapped in. I've also met some really fantastic people and really wonderful musicians. And I'm a diva. I like to perform. I'm also <laughs> an actress and I, I do a lot of independent films and some theater stuff too. And so. I, I, I'm comfortable with both the camera and the stage, and I like it a lot, so another way to work with that, and I love working with a lot of props. I have 
swings and swords and zills are not really a prop they're part of the dance amazing the, zill player amazing <laughs> but things like the veil and the fan veils and i also do stuff with fire and i hoop and just really i like playing with my toys yes that's I all know. i can say i know it is fun to play with all the different props and yeah. uh, we're here with all the kids too at hippie fest they're all yes. joining in listening to the answers um but yeah i know it's so much fun to have all the props and another great answer so my last question is um what would you recommend for someone who's interested in belly dance? Because I feel like there's a million online things. I feel like, well, what's your answer? Because okay, I studied start. in a dance studio. I actually come out of Serena Studios in New York. And um, if you Google Serena, she was a foremost dancer in like 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Trained a lot of the top New York dancers. So I came through the studio system where you're sort of guided in your progress. Now people have the advantage and of videos and there is some good stuff on YouTube but you really have to be careful. You have to be careful about stretching, knowing your body because I've seen some YouTube videos where they do some things that if you're not warmed up properly you could hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. That's the advantage of a class situation. Mm -hmm. I know not everyone is in the area where there's a good class and unfortunately with COVID and jobs right now not everyone has the money for it. Yes, so yes. make sure there's a lot of stretching, take your time. There are some good classes online. And you know, if, if all you can afford is YouTube, just go through and try to look up some of the dancers. Make sure if they have a, it's better if they have a studio and some kind of system of training. I know there's a lot of good people. I'm prejudiced with coming out of New York. A lot of the top dancers are from the New York area yeah. because a lot of the initial, original centers of belly dance were California and New York because they had such a strong population yes. of, I mean, in the 50s, it was a lot of the Christian Arabs that were displaced by a lot of the unrest in the Middle East. And then they were creating these wonderful <laughs> clubs and environments with a lot of different styles and it evolved. And now Egyptian style is really popular. But areas where there is a population where you can learn the authentic dance. Yes, which is such, it makes such a difference mm -hmm. between like some things, some things that are made up that you learn and the authentic part of the dance. Yeah, yes, and I, I'm a believer in going to the authentic part and there are, and I do some fantasy fusion stuff like the golf piece I did today was not authentic but there were some traditional moves in there. And there are some different styles, an American style belly dance and some different tribal fusions and they call them different things and there's something called I think they're calling it now a transnational style yeah I think so yeah but some of it look to the roots and have it rooted in something Egyptian Turkish Lebanese North African if you can find some of the top T Artemis Murat or Amel Tafsut or some of our really good Morocco anything out of Serena Studios things like that some names Jahan is amazing you yes. probably have some good names too of some really yes. start with some really established people. My yes, friend Amostella yes. in North Carolina is amazing. So work with the established ones first and then you know you can always try well, some things try and, things, yeah. but be careful of some of the things if a movement does not look safe for you. There are some movements like do not do a lot of like I do a lot of head spins. Don't try to copy what I do unless you're trained and warmed yes, up. Absolutely. Don't do things like back bends or things that involve like knee stuff on the floor Start without warming small. up and training. <laughs> and work with your body. There's enough within this dance that even if you have some physical limitations, oh yeah, you can definitely you can work do it. around yes. things. Mm -hmm. And there's different specialties. Maybe if you've got some knee issues, maybe you do a lot of stuff with hands and yeah, arms. Definitely. So it's definitely a dance it works for everybody. Everybody, bodies of different shapes and sizes. But And please try to be fit. That's the other thing that you do need a certain level of fitness. And this dance will give you that. Oh, yes, it will. It's like it's great for fitness. I love it. Because it's got cardio and flexibility and some of the long stretches where you're holding the poses. So it's... It's a really good all around body conditioning and it's not boring. I absolutely agree. And um, so, Jezebel, she's very, very talented. She belly dances, she acts, she has fire swords, she will do fire dancing. Yeah. If people want to hire you for their event, um, I'm on my Facebook is um, 
Jezebelly, J-E-Z-I-B-E-L-L-Y. Uh, my group that you can also find on Facebook that Dana's part of is the Geektastic Belly Dance League. And we actually do cosplay belly dance at a lot of conventions. I'm hoping we can get back to that next year. Unfortunately, a lot of the cons haven't been happening. But this is where, and it's totally not traditional, but it's fun and creative because we then also add our own creative spin on it where we dress up as characters like from I Do Poison Ivy and Wonder Woman and some of the different characters and belly dance as those characters. Videos and, on that will be coming yes. up soon. Yes. <laughs> Behind the scenes, a cosplay. Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jessica. Thank Jessie. you. I'm really grateful you're here today. It was a lot thank of fun. Thank you for organizing. This is great. We'll yeah. do more Hippie okay. Fest. Hope to see you at the next Hippie Bye. Fest. Bye.